So now that we've learned a bit about the centre of mass, let's see an application of it. So we've learned about Newton's second law before. Newton's second law tells us that the force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And this applies not just to individual particles, but also to systems of particles and specifically to the centre of mass of systems of particles. So let's consider this system here where we have two carts and both these carts have exactly the same mass. So let's call the position of this cart x equals zero and this second cart is a distance x away. Now in a minute I'm going to push this second cart towards this first cart. But we're going to start by considering the centre of mass. So hopefully intuitively you can tell that the centre of mass for this two cart system where the carts have the same mass must be exactly halfway between the two carts. If you can't see it intuitively then you would be able to see it mathematically. So remember that x for the centre of mass is equal to the sum of the xi times mi over the sum of the mi. So in this case we've just got the two carts. So x for the centre of mass is equal to x1 m1, this one, plus x2 m2, which describes this one, all divided by m1 plus m2. In this case m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m, because both carts have the same mass, and we shall call this position x equals zero. So we'll say the first cart is at x equals zero and we'll say the second cart is at x. So substituting in then we've got that the x for the centre of mass is equal to zero plus x times m or divided by m plus m which is just 2m. So we end up with x over 2. So if this is at zero, if this is at x, then x over 2 is exactly halfway between them. So we've shown it works mathematically as well. Okay, but x can be a variable. So if I push this cart, then its location is changing. So x is a variable. So let's work out how the, what the speed of the center of mass would be if this second cart was moving with some speed v. And this first cart was remaining stationary. So the velocity of the center of mass V, C, O, M, is just going to be the derivative of the displacement of the centre of mass with time. So it'll be D, X, C, O, M, D, T. And we just saw that X, C, O, M was equal to X over 2. So we have D, X on 2, D, T. And when we differentiate that, half is constant, so we can pull those out the front. So we end up with a half dx dt and dx dt is just the speed of this cart so if this cart has speed v then it is v so this tells us that if this cart is moving towards this cart with a speed v then the speed of the center of mass of the system which was initially here but will slowly move towards this cart is given by v on 2. Okay, so let's have a look at this physically now. So we can actually analyze this on Tracker. So we'll have a look at a couple of different collisions. Okay, so first of all, this cart has zero speed. This one here will be moving towards it with speed V. And then if during the collision there are no external forces, Newton's second law tells us that if F is zero, then MA is also zero because the mass is not zero, clearly these carts have mass, the acceleration of the centre of mass must also be zero. If the acceleration of the centre of mass is zero, it means that the speed of the centre of mass cannot be changing. So we must have a constant speed for our centre of mass. So let's look at that. So now let's analyse the clip you've just seen in Tracker. So you can see here's the car with the red dot. When I look, let go, it's travelling with a speed of around about 0.8 metres per second. It collides with the second cart and the second cart moves off with a speed of around about 0.7 metres per second. And meanwhile, the cart, the red one here, has come to rest. So the centre of mass of the system was initially halfway between the two carts and travelling with around about 
half the speed of car A, assuming that the two carts have equal mass. So around about 0.4 meters per second to the left. And then after the collision, the center of mass is again traveling halfway between the two carts. In this case, it's around about 0.35 meters per second to the left. So the speed of the center of mass has barely changed during the collision. So now we've seen this slightly different collision, let's analyze it in Tracker. So here the red cart is coming in, once I let go it has an initial speed just above 0.6 meters per second. So assuming they have equal mass, then the speed of the center of mass was 0.3 meters per second. After the collision they've stuck together and immediately after the collision before friction has slowed them down they have a speed a combined speed of just above 0.3 meters per second so the speed of the center of mass in this case has not changed during the collision now here's an exciting case this one's an explosion so in this case I'm not going to apply any external force these are collision carts and one of them has a plunger which at the moment is loaded so I'm going to gently tap the little knob and that will release the plunger so there are forces applied in this case but there's no external forces just forces which are internal to this system the system of the two carts so initially at the moment these carts are at rest so the velocity of the center of mass which is located exactly halfway between the two carts is zero. So we'd expect that if we don't apply forces, then the velocity of that center of mass should remain zero. So let's have a look and see if that is the case. So let's analyze this in tracker now. So at the moment, they're both at rest. So the speed of the center of mass is zero and here I'm hitting it and they both shoot off one to the left one to the right and you can see their speeds are both just above 0.6 meters per second so they have the same speed but opposite direction so since they've got the same mass the speed of the center of mass remains at zero throughout the explosion so in conclusion what we've seen is that Newton's second law f is equal to ma also applies to the center of mass of a system. So the net force on the system is equal to the mass times the acceleration of the center of mass of a system.